plastic production of oceans has emerged as a major global environmental crisis. Between 4.8 and 12.7 million tonnes of plastics enter the ocean each year and the problem will only worsen. It is estimated that the current amount of plastic in our oceans will treble in just a decade. However, the psychology of social change can provide a solution for the devastating issue. Millions of people worldwide are affected by social change. A recent example of this is the Brexit vote, in which a minority group changed the view of the majority. Anti-plastic groups such as the Plastic Ocean Foundation and celebrities such as David Attenborough have brought awareness to the environmental crisis. Awareness of this issue is the first crucial step in creating a widespread social change. In 1969, Moscovici investigated the influence of consistency in a minority influence on a majority group in blue-green slide studies. This study showed that a consistent minority was more successful than an inconsistent minority in changing the view of the majority, therefore suggesting that it is crucial that these groups remain consistent in their views and aims. Recently, there has been a much larger public interest in the issue of plastic usage due to the large amount of media coverage it has recently received. This suggests that the third stage of social change, deeper processing, is beginning to occur. The next stage of the process is the augmentation principle, which is when a group suffers for their cause. The people who are involved in these organisations, in order to truly commit to the cause, would not be able to buy anything in plastic packaging. Although this is not drastically suffering, it would be a very difficult task and cause a great amount of hassle for the person as the majority of packaging is made out of plastic. Eventually a snowball effect. Will take place due to the actions and commitments of the organisations. The idea of not using plastic will grow amongst the population and the original view of the majority will be questioned. This will result in less and less people buying products with plastic packaging until the anti-plastic view becomes the majority. <laughs> Due to the decrease in sales of plastic packaged products that is likely to occur, companies will have no choice but to change the way they package their products. This change will be recognised by the public, however, they may be left unable to explain exactly how the change occurred. This is social cryptoamnesia and is the final step of social change. The influence of plastic in our daily lives has already decreased due to social change. The ban of plastic straws in bars and restaurants and the introduction of paper straws being evidence of this. As you can see, psychology can be praised for offering a process in which real change in attitudes towards plastic can occur. This change in attitudes will help to declutter our oceans, help marine life and make the earth a cleaner, better place for our future generations come out of your shell and help for our environment.